here it is the EIGRP network statement very uh, easy statement to configure but the hardest statement or uh, configuration to understand is what ha what is happening so today in this video I'm going to be explaining what the EIGRP network statement is and what it does and I'd like to start off with saying the network statement it is like a raffle and your interface is your ticket okay so think about that uh, while we're going through this video um, in this topology I have two routers with a dual connection uh, fast ethernet 00, 0 and fast ethernet 10 with its corresponding IP addresses here so let's break down the the syntax of the network command for EIGRP so you go into your router you do router EIGRP and then the autonomous system number and then you have to start uh, I don't want to say advertising your networks, but you got to put in some network commands. And here's the syntax. You type in network in IP address. Usually it's probably the subnet ID, but you don't have to. You can do full on 32 bit uh, explicit um, IP addresses, followed by a wildcard mask. And in EIGRP, you could actually put the subnet mask, which actually makes things a lot easier. But I'm explaining what the network statement does, not you know how to ad how to advertise your network so to say so zeros in the wildcard mask octet must match the corresponding octet in the IP address uh, ones do not have to match so what does that mean well I think the easiest way is to bring in an example so here if we were to put in this statement in the EJRP network 12.12.12.1 followed by a wildcard mask of 0.0.0.0. .0 now keep in mind, zeros in the wildcard mask must, must match uh, the corresponding IP address, uh, the corresponding IP address octet. So that means, think of the raffle announcer saying, I'm looking for an interface that has an IP address of 12.12.12.1. You are going to be participating in EAJRP. Woohoo! And your prize, you will send out hello packets out to your interface and you will advertise your subnet that you are in. That is the most important thing right there. So if we put the statement in router 1, we see we have a matching interface. It is F00, 12.12.12.1. So I'm going to start sending out hello packets out this interface and I'm going to advertise the slash 30 subnet. Uh, if there was some other subnet, I would be advertising that subnet. A uh, lot of students or or anyone may get confused when you do a network statement, you know, 12.12.12.0, uh, whatever wildcard mask, you'd be like, I'm advertising the 12.12 network. Mm, yay and nay. Yes, you are, but no, that's not what that statement means, and that's why it's very confusing. So uh, let's configure this and let's see these hello packets get sent out of uh, the F00 interface. So let's bring up router 1. Go into config T. And the autonomous system for this network is 100. And let's do that statement. Network 12.12.12.1 and bam we immediately got a neighbor so this guy R2 was already configured and I put some debugging on him and you can see the hello packets they're being sent out every five seconds by default for an EIGRP router so you see that there we received it on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 so that proves that the interface won that raffle and now he's advertising uh, well, actually, he's not advertising. He's sending out his hello packets, and he's advertising the subnet that he's in. Okay? So, all right, that's good. So let's take that off, and we're going to do another network statement and see what happens. We should lose our adjacency. Yep. All right. So, that was, uh, that was a good example. All zeros specifying a specific raffle ticket number but what happens if we want to be more generic well let's uh, let's bring that example in so let's move him in, him down let's bring in this one right here network 10.11.0.0 .0 .0 
with 0.0.255.255. Now all zeros, the corresponding octet in the IP address must match. So basically, raffle announcer saying, I'm looking for an interface, any interface on this router that has an IP address that starts with 10.11. You are going to be participating in EIGRP and you know what your prize is. So let's look at R1. We have some loopbacks here. We also have the F1 slash 0 interface with this IP address. So according to this network statement, any IP address with a 10 dot that start with a 10.11, you're going to be participating. So with that being said, 10.11.252. Dot zero uh, slash twenty two. Um, this statement or this interface right here, because it has a dot two fifty three dot one, that actually really doesn't matter. Either does this right here. It's all about these two octets. Same thing with these loopback interfaces. So they should be participating in EIGRP since these are loopbacks. They'll send hellos, but they're not going anywhere. So uh, and I'll also show you a, a show statement, which a show command, which will tell you what interfaces are participating in EIGRP. So let's bring up R1 again. Let's do that statement. Was it network 10110000? Okay. Network 10.11.0.0.0.255.255. All right. Boom. We should get a neighbor. All right. Because R2 is listening, and you could also see those hello packets. They're received on faster than one slash zero. So that's cool. All right, so now we're sending out hello packets. We're also going to be advertising the network that we are in. So these loopbacks, they are in this slash 30 and this slash 24. If we actually go to R2 and do a uh, show IP route command, there we go. We see those statements. And actually, let's take off the debugging right now. So we can see some some uh, routes. So here we see the 10.11.11.0 slash 30. That's it right there. So EIGRP on router one is advertising those networks. And the 10.11.12 should be dot zero. And there it is right there. Because it's a slash 24, so that last octet doesn't matter. So Cool. Now we're advertising those networks or the subnet that that interface is in, which is very important. And how do I know what interfaces are, are, are participating in EIGRP? Well, we have this command right here. Show IP EIGRP interfaces. So let's go ahead and uh, type that in. Show IP EIGRP interfaces. Bam, and there you go. With that one network statement, we have three interfaces participating in EIGRP. So remember this network statement to see what interfaces are, are advertising hello packets. All right. One last thing I'd like to go over is the wildcard mask and what that actually means. So if we had a wildcard mask of 0.0.0.7, .0 and what that means in binary is the first three octets are all zeros. The and the last three bits in the last octet there they are ones so zeros must match the corresponding uh, octet or the corresponding bits in that octet so if we had 10.11.12.13 in binary this is what it looks like so all zeros need to match here but when it comes to here the first five bits must match because uh, these are all zeros so we got one two three four five so this one has to be there uh, for this whole raffle. So these last three bits it, it doesn't care about because the ones, ones do not have to match. So here are the bits that have to match. We see that the last three X's they could be either ones or zeros. Now if you convert that back into the numbering system we get 10.11.12 uh, this bit right here is going to be at least eight if these are all zeros and if these bits right here are all turned on meaning one we have a dot fifteen. So that is a quick breakdown of what the wild card, card, wild card mask means and how the bits have to match. Zeros must match and ones do not have to match. So this was a lot of information, but I hope this was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.